let us briefly look at equation based simulation for the Bach boost and the Bach boost converter. So I have within the work folder three uh, folders Bach boost and the Bach boost. So let me open the Bach. There are as usual uh, two important files model.m and sim.m. So let me open the model.m and look at the equations here which represent the buck converter. <coughs> Let me bring your focus to these two lines here. They are basically uh, representing the dynamic equations of the buck converter. See IL dot if you look at the um, inductor here the voltage across the inductor is what is represented in this equation which is V in into U the, this node voltage at P U is basically either 1 or 0 depending upon whether it is connected to T1 or T2 during DTS period U is 1 during 1 minus DTS period U is 0 so the U is actually coming as the output of a PWM block where you give the switching frequency, duty cycle and T and then accordingly this uh, U um, uh, comes as output of the PWM block. And VC is the voltage across the output which is the capacitance. So that minus VC by L will be IL dot. Likewise, the voltage across the capacitance is the other state. C dVC by dt is IL minus VC by R naught. So these two are the dynamic equations and uh, we pass as the output parameter X dot which is IL dot and VC dot and uh, the X which is coming in as an input to this uh, function uh, is actually representing the two state variables IL and VC as shown here. So I have set these parameters V in as 12, similar like what we simulated in NG Spice, similar parameters and this is ready for simulation in Octave environment. So now let me go into Octave, go into the buck folder and execute the sim file. So the simulation is uh, performed, so what we are viewing is the output voltage in blue here. The red is basically the uh, pulse width modulated waveform which is initiating the switches and there is a black waveform which is the inductor current. We can zoom in. Uh, let me uh, let me take the Z plus or the zooming and uh, zoom into a portion near steady state here and you could probably see the uh, inductor current and the duty cycle waveforms which are given to the switches. So like this you will be able to see the various waveforms and simulate and validate the buck converter circuit. In a similar way one can also do the equation based simulation for the boost converter circuit. Let me open the model file relating to the boost converter circuit and uh, we have discussed the boost converter and you will be able to appreciate the equations here. See IL dot is V in, V in minus VC, VC multiplied by 1 minus U. So when uh, when the trans when this switch is on u is 1 so at that time uh, this node potential is 0 so that's what 1 minus 1 0 and when the switch is connected to t2 uh, through t2 then u is 0 and vc is applied at this uh, node of the inductor and thereby uh, causing the inductor current uh, to discharge into the output capacitance Likewise, the other dynamic equation here, C dVC by dt is 1 minus U into IL minus VC by R naught. 
So the current here is 1 minus u into IL only when this switch is off that you see the current flow through here in this branch just before the capacitance. All else being same, similar uh, methodology, you can execute the boost converter and check the waveforms, the various waveforms. Here again, I am seeing the U, that is the switching signal for switching the switch and uh, the state values uh, IL and VC. Let me go into the boost folder and let me execute the sim file so executing the sim you see the uh, plots being displayed the one in blue is the output voltage and the one in red here are the pulse width modulated uh, pulses and the one in black here is the inductor current and obviously you see here that at the end of 10 milliseconds steady state is not reached uh, you can continue the simulation further by using the resume command as we discussed earlier. So let me go into the sim file and put resume here and execute this simulation again. So it will resume from where you left off and it will continue, the simulation will continue and probably uh, depending upon the time constants of the system, you will reach uh, the steady state uh, after a few more resume commands. So for example, I can still continue, uh, resume is still 1, I will continue, so it will continue from that and now almost it is reaching the steady state. In this way, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, resume the simulation at uh, uh, any point in time by storing the last uh, the, uh, the last uh, simulation step value of the previous simulation. So this is one of the advantage of the resume command which we have seen earlier and which we can use here. Another uh, primary converter of course the buck boost converter. Let me open that also and uh, see that the model here is this fashion L D I L by DT is the current through this L and during the time when the switch is connected to T1 you will see it is V in so therefore V in into U U is 1 when a switch is connected to pole is connected to T1 and during the time when the pole is connected to T2 uh, the uh, output voltage is negative with the charge plus minus as shown here we have discussed that so therefore I am using minus VC during the time 1 minus U and uh, the other dynamic equation is similar 1 minus U IL uh, flows uh, in this branch to charge up this capacitance in the reverse direction during the time when the pole is connected to T2 and there is a continuous constant discharge from the capacitance minus Vc by R0. So these are the two equations uh, which, um, which define the buck boost converter and you can simulate this in octave. So in octave we can go into the buck boost folder and run the simulation. So let me type sim and execute the simulation. So this is a simulation for the buck boost folder, uh, buck boost converter and you see in green the uh, PWM pulses. The one here in the red is the output average current V0 by uh, RS and this is the inductor current and the output voltage. Of course the uh, steady state has not yet been reached just like in the boost converter you can uh, use the resume command make resume is equal to 1 and continue the simulation further till steady state is reached.